Hi, everyone. Welcome to Grapple. I'm Luis Rubino. I'm here with my teammates, Ekaterina Svetlakova, Marina Chavez, Benjamin Greenspan. Grapple is a wellness app where users can subscribe to daily challenges by themselves or connect with friends, and they can challenge them to a grapple. Here's our, our homepage here. We have an option to register or log in. If we keep scrolling down, we'll see what Grapple is all about. We have uh, mental health, physical health, and all around health, and kind of our mission statement here. If we keep scrolling, we have an option to sign up. Uh, we can create an account, continue with Google or with Facebook uh, using OAuth. Um, and then also down here on the footer, we have our protected routes here. We have home and challenges. We wanted our challenges uh, to only be accessed if you were a user in our page. So if we click on challenges, go and it directs us right to a login. So I'm gonna log in as Marina and I'm gonna log in and pass it over to Ben. Thanks, Louis. Um, from here, we can see Marina's profile with her icon, um, username, as well as full name. Uh, we see her friends and friend requests, which we'll talk about later. Uh, further down, you can see the badges, which are completed challenges, ongoing challenges she is in, as well as challenges she may have failed. Um, if we look at the full challenges page, um, we can sort them by various attributes, such as name, difficulty, um, as well as the category they're in. Um, as you can see, difficulty is rated one through five, and there's various categories um, from which you can select your challenge. Um, so for example, we can also use the search bar and uh, type in on the search bar the same challenge and navigate there as well. Also on the users page, uh, we have a bar where you can search for all users and navigate to their profile as well. Um, finally, um, one thing, about the page is uh, renders in a couple different languages. Um, and with that being said, I'll pass over to Marina to further talk about the challenges. Um, like Ben said, you could browse all the challenges. Um, once you go into one challenge, you will see all the challenge details. One of the most important things about a challenge is this total goal. There's two options. You can either have a total goal like this, where you have to complete that goal uh, at some point throughout the, the extent of the challenge. One other option is to have a daily goal. So a challenge like this, where you have a goal of 10 miles per day, and um, you only count towards the challenge if you do the progress of that entire day. Um, I've already joined a couple of challenges here, uh, so I can track my progress against it. And if I scroll down here, I'll see this calendar. So like I said, this challenge is 10 miles a day. Um, I could go over here and see that I already have run 10 miles on the second, and I've already run 11 miles on the third. If I wanted to add another progress for a day, I can say I've run on the fourth, and you will see here that it counts. If I were on the fifth to log five, um, it doesn't count against my progress because five is not 10, which is the miles for the day, versus if I went to here and I said, you know, I did 300 minutes on, in one day, um, all of that counts against my progress. So now I've completed that challenge. One other option is um, to connect to your Strava account. Um, so Kate here already went through the process of uh, connecting her account. So she gets this button to select a Strava account um, workout. And so on the six, for example, I could go select uh, a workout. It shows me all the possible workouts I can select from. So I can say I did this run and submit, and now I see that Strava um, workout logged against my progress as well. And then one final thing on the, on the challenges is that you have a leaderboard. And so I can see everyone else that is in the challenge and how much progress they've made against it um, and could go to their profiles if I wanted to. That's it for challenges. For users, um, like Ben said, you could add friends. And so I'm logged in as Kate right now. I will send Marina a friend request. And if I went to Marina, my own account, um, you'll see that I got a notification saying that I have a friend request from Kate. I can click on that and I can accept a request. And now I am friends with Kate and you can see it over here. Um, one cool thing that you could do with friends is that if I wanted to you know, um, go to one of my own, uh, in progress challenges and I wanted to compete against Kate, I could invite a friend and I can invite her. And if I hop back to Kate's account, 
um, she also got a notification that I accepted her friend request and invited her for this challenge. So now she could go here and join the challenge as well. That's it for me. I'll pass it off to Kate. Thank you, Marina. Uh, right now we are logging as admin and we can, can easily go to admin hub where you can see all the challenges that platform has and all the users and add new challenge in uh, challenges. We can uh, filter through all the challenges by ID, name, category, and difficulty, and etc. Also, we can change uh, the challenge itself here um, by just clicking here and like change it. In user uh, folder, we can filter through all the uh, users. Let's go to the user profile and where we can edit the profile, upload the picture. update a profile, go back to profile. And then in uh, dashboard, uh, we can see all our achievements, um, see all the upgoing challenges with the progress and um, go to each challenge. Here, this little leaderboard where you can see the points of all the uh, users on the platform. And when, here we have badges, it's completed challenges that we have where we can share our achievements in so, social media. Thank you, Luis. Great, thank you, Kate. Thanks to the rest of the team. I wanna also thank Prof and the rest of the classmates in the cohort. A little bit of the technologies we used uh, to design Grapple. We have, of course, React, Node, uh, Postgres, and a SQL and Express on the back end. We have Redux. We use Material UI for the design and Firebase as well, and Engage Spot for the uh, friend requests. And then lastly, we have some integration. We use Google and Facebook for OAuth, and we also connected to Strava so you can use that data like uh, Marina mentioned before. Great, thank you everyone.